Hello, everyone. RBG Kingdom Kid here back with some more homebody. In the previous video, we didn't really do too much, but we did figure some stuff out, so yay for that. Um, but now, we are going to figure this out. And what we have to do is we have to beat, we have to get the high score again, which kind of sucks that I did that once already. Now I gotta do it again. Oh, fuck me. What? Oh, fuck me. Oh, you... There we go. Tell me something about something here. Okay. Get it. I have 
have it. Let's do it in the right order, okay. What? Oh, okay. So Nat, while we are grateful to have received your submission come hell or high waters, it unfortunately does not fit with our future plans for publication. We command you on your highly organized gonzo approach and encourage you to continue submitting your work to other publications that may be a better fit for your unique voice. Regards. Now I have copies of a newspaper from the 70s. Like Ness drove around town buying every copy he could. The art section promised an article called It's Hap It's Happening Last Tuesday. Simpon Tipper, August 20th, 1974. It's Happening Last Tuesday. A group of young men and women run a gamut of creative and professional aspirations. A writer here, a hyper realist painter here, an industrial engineer turned performance artist besides. That would be Claire Johns, whose reputation rapidly rose through the past year to hold our re revelance happenings of the highest order, her work dazzling and frustrating poets and academics alike. Just last week, the group to which Jones belonged gathered in the discussed Steel Platt beneath a meteor shower to take in her latest work, orchestrated with her creative partner, Parker Nest. <laughs> To it, the sales brochure for the British call them Mahler Conduct Array. This was the panels I've been seeing around. It says benefit design is that you can combine panel layouts to direct power to manipulate arrays at one benefit. I guess that means you can combine multiple solutions as long as you draw a path that avoids X's from both diagrams. I wish the X one would stay there. Or not the X one, I wish the... Oh, it's right here, okay. Okay, so yeah, so in order for me to get... Yeah, I can easily, yeah, you can easily get... Three and two can definitely be matched together.
Okay, let's see here. So, two solution could be an easy straight line and up. But that cannot be the case with three because... It's literally like right behind me. those next two, but I can go up. It's weird how we're seeing more and more of this monster, too, I guess, as we progress. Actually, what I should go, what I should go do now. I'm actually going to go upstairs and get the lightning rod up first. Because then if I can get all that stuff in... Solution for this again. Eight seven one two. I'm actually curious if like all this is the same thing and if you just start a new game fresh would you and do everything that you could would you still get like the right answers or everything or is it one of those things like even if you the player Wait, am i going the right way i'm no i'm not I'm gonna go to the garage um maybe it's one of those things like even though you the player know what's going on the character inside needs to know what's going on too so I can do those first two. That's all I know. And then down. So I have to avoid those next two. Okay, I got three on, but why did not why did not get two on? Oh, I think I... Yeah, I'm on an X, aren't I? Okay, so... Okay, so... No, let's figure out four, three first, so...
So two, one, two, three, four. So that's be four on the bottom, which it is. Then I can go up four. Right? One, two. No. I have to, I can only go up three. And then I gotta go this way. Twice? That's on the third one, right? Okay, no, that got two. Uh, I just went up one too many. Now that one's a... Fuck, okay, this is a hard one. I hope one, I hope if I figure this out, they'll show me what the solution is for having both of them. You know what? I think it'd be a lot easier if I just did this. Okay. Okay, I don't know why the game crashed again. Hi, Emily. The panel in the waiting room has a big three on it. Same as the one with one in the cellar. They've gotta be connected. Is there a device somewhere that controls them both? Good luck out there, Emily. Yes, there is. I had it all figured out. But then the game decided to crash, so... So weird out there's a save icon but like it didn't take me back to where I actually was it just started like as a new thing Just turn off all the ones with an X, so... There we go.
And unfortunately, did not stay on here. Which kind of sucks. I'm not going in there until I know what the thing is, so. Okay, perfect. That's actually good, perfect for this setup. Because yellow will be fine then. It's red and blue now. I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter. It's going to change to... It's going to close both lights. So it's blue and yellow. It'll be red and yellow. yellow. Oh my god, I was about to say, like, oh, I feel like I could have not gotten there. Do you remember when you pulled me aside after our last performance together? We were both kicked in plaster. You were a deer, and I had been so unpleasant that day, neurotic and lashing out, and you said, Peter, one of these days, you need to ask yourself why you need to manufacture a bad guy. I laughed. I laughed at you. I went to grab that young man by the ears and thrash him. What a petty, petty fool. I could have said this to you even once, and I never did. You are not only a genius, but you're an indes indescribably better emotional being than I am. I have never been more in enchanted with the things a person created. Great. The work we did together felt like puzzle pieces fitting, like finally being able to breathe. I hate my work less than knowing my myriad weakness had the honor of existing alongside your strengths. And what did I do with that? Wow. Sometimes I wish you were here and I'm sorry. G for the chosen few continued. Let's turn this thing out of the unit power of the accumulator. I think there's a shortcut back here since I'll need to do this again to power the whole thing up. I guess there is. It's like so it's nine zero zero nine, okay.
No, I don't need to monkey with anything in the garage now. What? Oh, it was red and yellow. I thought, hmm. Oh, well, it didn't matter. Emily, looks like it's your lucky day. Huh? We're here. The roadhouse burnt down? Guess so. Welcome back to town, Emily. Bastard. I was expecting felony arson on this trip and I refused to become an accessory after the fact. Don't worry, I left the note saying you did it. What? Happened here? According to my phone, it burnt down almost a year ago. Perhaps I said it was open. Oh, it's open, alright. I'm gonna go climb on the hot dog. Me too. Do not get on the hot dog. Guys, I'm serious. Don't be idiots. I can't believe I dragged us all the way out here for this. Hi, Pete. Pete, you knew? Why didn't you tell us? It's weird, we can't hear Pete talking during these flashbacks or whatever, but we hear him talk when, you know, we die and all that stuff. God, somebody's gonna get hurt climbing that hot dog. I just know it. Come on, Francine, they're adults. What's the worst that could happen? Emily, you should know that by now. Wait, why does the hot dog have bastard written on it? I don't know. I'm a bastard! Not a bastard, Gary. Get off the hot dog. Not like anybody ever listens to me. Why should they start now? I think we just gotta let go of what you can't control, Francine. I think you liked me better when I was beneath you. that, Megan? What did I mess up there? Well, Francine loves a plan. I know you and I don't care, but she does. I know. I just don't want her to be stressed out about it. I get that, but still. Maybe not the first thing I would have said to my best friend who I haven't seen in a year. Well, I guess I really whiffed that one. Nah, things are just changing around here, fast, here faster than we can keep up with. don't feel the same around here anymore. How could they? The first time we did this, we didn't need to plan shit. It just happened. The only reason we ended up here was because we thought the giant hot dog was kind of a tourist trap. Which it was. Decades before it became a gnarly karaoke joint. And then they kicked us out at 2am. Us drunk idiots saw stars streaking across the sky. Amazing. It was pretty magical. 
Yeah, even Cliff was, uh, was being just like really earnest and positive. For karaoke, he sang the song Sandy, and he did a big Swagger Springsteen impression. Then like 20 minutes later, when it was his turn again, he got up and does Sandy again, only this time without the impression. How obnoxious. Isn't that song like eight minutes long? Sure, but there was something kind of tragically sweet about it. He seemed so earnest the second time, there were tears in his eyes. Even if it was bullshit that he saw himself in the song, it still kind of humanized him for me. Huh. I think I went and hid in the bathroom until it was over. Yikes. A bar bathroom? Is that trade worth it? The roadhouse bathroom is practically nasty, too. I wonder if it was better as a burnt-out husk. I wonder if I'm better as a burnt-out husk. How now? Everyone's happy you're here. It's pretty touching that you come all the way here just to see us. Actually, I'm in town for a funeral. My grandma died. Oh, I'm sorry. No, really, it's okay. I don't really feel anything about it. Well, except that I'm a monster for not feeling anything about it. Someone guilty himself for a feeling has not ever in human history gotten rid of the feeling. Yeah. So I guess I'm stuck with it. I'm just relieved she's not suffering anymore. Watching her regress to the point that she thought all of us were dead people coming to get her was pretty devastating for my mom. That can happen? Yeah, it's pretty par for the course of Alzheimer's. Going back to an earlier time in your in their brain, singing songs from their childhood. It's also a delusion you can have where you think everyone in your life has been replaced with imposters. Crap grass, crab ga grass disorder or something. Well, that's horrible. Yep. Say, do you have any use for metal melted plastic cutlery? That's very specific. Check it out. It's like a rack king of forks and the little plastic stores that stick cherries with. What a find. Gotta get a picture. Terry's gonna love this. What are you doing here? Where's Pete? A good question. I've never met your friend Pete. And I've met everyone here. I've seen him walking around. Made eye contact with him. But there's nothing there. I don't think he's anyone. If Pete's not Pete, then who the hell are you? Also a good question. Har har. Do you realize this is a pretty stressful situation for me, right? I'm sorry. I feel strange energy here myself. I can't tell if I want it to end tonight or to last forever. There's little I can do to help you now. It may be s but small comfort, but if you have questions, I will do my best to shine a light in the dark. Jesus Christ, can you talk normal? I'll try. What is that thing? The thing with the knife? I don't know. I used to feel oddly proud of it. I thought I created it. That it was the only thing I've ever created. Now I'm afraid that might not be true. I've got nothing to show for all this. My life? Just a house that's falling apart with dead people inside. You would want that as a legacy? It's more than nothing. At least it would be proof that I was here. But I know that isn't true. Even if it was, what's the point? All the big mistake, big coincidence, small little man. Stupid. Uh-huh. What is the accumulator supposed to do? It's supposed to channel life energy to assist in the, resem the reassembly of matter. It's meant to improve your vitality and lifespan. In reality, it's a cheap wooden box and general file hazard I use to do drugs in. But here, it's not the box that I built. It's actually powerful. And it has nothing to do with me. Why can't I talk to the others? I mean... I can talk to them about pizza and video games and shit. Just not the time loop we're trapped in or the slasher movie villain that keeps killing us. I have no idea. When I approached you at the gas station, I found myself unable to speak in anything but poetry. I thought that was just how you always talk. And sometime later, I found myself able to express myself fully. Almost as if we had gained some kind of understanding. Or maybe I just lost all respect for you. What happened with you and Clara? So, 
what happened with you and Clara. Clara? I suppose you've had quite some time to explore. Sorry, not much else to do besides die. Well, I hope you enjoyed shifting through the, this, the tears of a foolish young man left behind as he stumbled backwards through life. I know I'm... I didn't... I never really... I wanted a lot of time. I wasted a lot of time. And now the time wastes me. Yeah, you do a... You do kind of seem like a hack. One last thing. Did you really smoke weed with Hunter S. Thompson? He was in the vicinity. I see. Um, want one? You know I quit, Cliff. What? When? I thought you were here to burn one out with me like we always used to. Can't just come over here to enjoy your company? No. Leon, I probably burned it down, right? For the insurance money. How good of a policy do you think they had on, on a hole in the wall in the middle of nowhere? Maybe it was arson? From a companion restaurant? It was like a stretch to call the road, roadhouse a restaurant. It's more like, well, we'll make you a burger if, you're re if you really want one. As you mention it, why didn't they have a hamburger outside? Why just a hot dog? Actually, they used to have one. They got rid of the hamburger in 63. Oh. Guys, is Megan seen someone? Oh, Tori? Yeah, wow. Never thought I would see the day. They've been engaged for like two years. What? Hey, Kane, what are you all talking about? Oh, it's just how Emily doesn't know shit about her friends. Shut the hell up, Cliff. <laughs> Cliff, Emily show me this awesome mel melted col col color really racking. Want to see it? Oh yeah, that'll go great with my m melted red plastic Italian restaurant cup. I melted it by trying to put a cigarette in on it. See ya, Em. Later, Gare Bear. I think I could get s sick from hanging around here. Like a the burnt rubble. Just putting stuff in our body that will kill us someday when we're not expecting it. I spent every day expecting to drop dead of a mysterious and preventable illness. It would be pretty funny if I con con contracted it from a fiberglass hot dog. Yeah, if I'm going to die, it at least needs to be funny. I mean, my, my life's a joke anyway. It needs a good punchline to make it all worth it. Okay, you're sounding a little too much like me. Are you alright? Sure, it's fine. My head kind of hurts behind my eyes. I'm gonna go look at that pile of menus and figure out what I would have ordered. Hmm. This nobody took a tumble from the hot dog, huh? Hey, Francine. Me. I'm really sorry. Stop. I'm not doing this again. You're not sorry. You're scared of me. It can be both. I feel like you're waiting for a chance to tell me I'm wrong and you're waiting for me to escalate. To catch me in some mistake so you can tell me so. Miss Francine, I'm dying to, to fall on that sword. I'm dying for you to believe me when I tell you I know how wrong I am. Stuff doesn't work on axes of right and wrong. Axes of right and wrong, Emily. I know you're sorry. You tell everyone that every chance you get. You need to do something. What do you want from me? Who gives a shit what I want from you? People aren't a fucking puzzle you can solve, Emily. Scary when you cut us. Jiminy, gosh! Oh, Hamily, hey, glad you could make it. Your room's down the hall. Is that better? Is that more like the weird retrograde 
2D fantasy of me you're looking for? I've been caretaking, planning, organizing, and protecting, and trying to stop us from tearing ourselves apart. Going through the motions for as long as I can remember. Now I'm goddamn sick of it, and I know you're hurting, but there's too much inertia for me to stop, so instead I'm here yelling at you about it. I know how this ends. I've seen it happen over and over and over, and I'm done trying to change it, and I refuse to take your sorries about it. I know exactly how goddamn petty I'm being. I don't care, because I've had an infinite number of nights to stew on this. That's the thing I saw. <laughs> and like one of the things, I saw that weird little... ...thing. I barely see Cliff's body there. I just saw it at the end there. I don't know if he was there beforehand or not. All right, let's look at what we have. So I do not have to worry about anything in the gar Well, I don't have to worry about anything in that part of the garage. The only things I need to worry about now is going up into the attic. I can open this and then I just need to do something with the pump. That's all I need to figure out now is that bottom pump. Uh, but I have no idea about the whole rewind and all that shit that it keeps telling me. And I don't under That's the one thing I don't understand. I'm an idiot. So. Remember what other note we found this? Oh my god. That's what it was. Completely forgot about that. Okay. There we go, examine hit a note. That's what I needed. So I need the triangle and arrow thing, okay. Oh hey, there's the prison thing. Is this the pyramid France sent through? What's it doing here? Is that blood? I hope Francine's okay. Oh, is Francine, like, no longer here now? Oh, what's that? Oh, give me one second here. Well, I guess it didn't matter. Um... Copy the book I illustrated. Pumperton Possum learns a lot. This is a pile of Cliff stuff. What's it doing here?
No, I don't think I'm actually gonna solve the, uh, I don't think I'm gonna solve or get all three generators on in this life. So I should just try to focus on try to learn what the reason for the pump is. I have until 10 something to get this, so. So it needs to be rewind and then print. So rewind is this, but it has to be on the side.
Are you? Jesus Christ, why the- This is- That's the third time that the game fucking crashed on me. I guess the good news is I have time now to do this, so... Went this way, do I want to? I'm just about to see you once I get this around. Oh, you turn out. 62 psi. Beneath that note says the industrial pump uses all the remaining fluid in the hydraulic tank. So be sure the fluid levels in the tank are correct before operating. at 62 so if that goes up to 10 okay let me see here
26. So. Of how it goes. So. But if I get rid of 12, because that's how much the one on the top is, that'd be 18. So if there's 18 left, and I need to get to 62, so. So let me think here. So it's for sure gonna always, almost always go through those two fives there. So that's five, that's 50 right there. So that's 50. Okay, hold on. So, minus 12, 26 minus 12 is 14. Okay, that's not right. I don't think it was always 14. I think it was always. Like, I'm trying to figure out do I need to do that, the, the one in the bathroom upstairs? I should. Oh no, it only takes eight away, not twelve. I don't know why I thought it was twelve. I thought it was 12 because of the PSI, but I only had eight pumps. That's why. So, I have 18. So, it will always go through those two pipes. So, that's... And I think I should need to have it go through both of them. So, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, that's 5 and 5 times 5 is 25. So, it's be 50... If I flip that thing over, all right, and, and that'll and that'll be ten pumps. So that'll be ten pumps. I'll have eight left. Um, so if I put five in there. So if five pumps go into the tall one. So if five pumps go into the tall one, that's th I'd have three left. So that's five, 50, 55. Um, that would not be enough with another tall one. And that'd be too much with that one, okay? So it can't be five. Have to be more? Yeah, it'd have to be more pumps in the tall one, so. If I put not eight would be too much. 
right? Because 50. Yeah, that one or that wouldn't be enough if I put eight in there. I go to 58, and I need to get to 62. Okay, so I need to get to 62 with. Eight. Okay, so. So 50. Seven? Let's try seven. So put seven pumps in there, that's eleven. If I flip that to a five, that's a five. So hold on, fifty, that's fifty-five. Fifty-five plus seven is sixty-two, so yeah. chicken. And this thing all has a unit power to accumulator. Kind of freaky being here in this mall again. I forget that this mall exists under the, this rural house in Pennsylvania. So, I think I have everything figured out so I can get out of here now. This actually could end up being the final part of the game here. I didn't even get to see the parasites. That's okay. But I think I can see them now. You don't see them, do you? It's so pretty when they're inside. You get to see them. I'm. Will you find my phone. Text my. The guppies. Nabe. I don't want them to die, but. Because. Me. You always read that when people die, they piss their pants. I'm so glad I didn't piss my pants. Wait, did I piss my pants? Oh my god, I can't even feel my lower half. If I actually piss my pants, please don't tell me.
I, mean, I should just let the thing kill me because I can't really do anything else now. this motherfucker at? It's weird that Francine's not here. I wonder if that's like a thing if I talk to some of the people. There you are, you bitch. 